it's going to be fun. Okay. You look stunning. Oh, and you. you're doing a lot of walking around. Do not point it over there. You're doing a lot of walking around, you said. How have you perfected walking around in such gorgeous high heels? I'm an old hat at this. Yeah. yeah, I'm an old hat at this. So, um, yeah, this, and I've got a sensible heel on as well. This is not going to go into the grass anytime soon. Can you dance or not? Can I dance? <laughs> Absolutely. Some of my best moves have been done in a heel slightly higher than this. Um, now, can I ask, what, what is it, as a judge, what are you looking for from the ladies and gents today? Um, I'm looking for someone that's really showing me that, that that last heat of event, that, that last heat was a great, um, a great version of that, that number seven, I think, that came out. Someone that shows real personal flair, someone that's, that's got a real sense of their own style, someone that's innovative, takes, takes some of the, the current runway trends and translate those um, to the racetrack. But also looking at all the beautiful traditional elements. So there was real knockbacks to some of the, the 50s style. So I think, really think about the areas that you want to pay homage to and um, also looking at some of the modern fabrics, things like that. But all of the usual rules apply. We want to see really great millinery. It's really important to choose beautiful shoes. The judges are sitting at foot, uh, foot height. So sometimes feet is what we see first. And just, just a little note, take the stickers off the bottom of your shoes. Price is not what, I mean, we, we don't have to pay a million dollars to look a million dollars, but we don't want to see that you've paid $3.99. <laughs> Speaking of tip, that's a very good tip for everyone. I know that in the past, maybe I have accidentally done that too. And actually, in the ladies' room, you often get someone saying, you've got a sticker on. Oh, we help each other out. We have like hashtag stores hanging off the back. Yes. Um, but can I ask any other tips for people? I think just in general, when you're, when you're approaching race day, um, think about, I think comfort is really important. First, I mean, it's nice to think that yeah, we can start with a hat and work our way back. Shoes, if you if you need to, break them in at home before you walk away. It's a real no-no to leave the racetrack. Shoes in hands. Do not take your shoes off. That's not a good look, is it? That's not. Terrible. Weather appropriateness, because it's always going to change at the drop of a hat, I think it's, uh, it would be really nice to bring a cardigan or something else. Um, hemlines and necklines are always really appropriate. Um, it's important to make sure they're daytime appropriate. It's important to look ladylike and chic rather than sexy. So necklines keep them sort of above us. And I think strapless is also a bit of a moment. Yeah, I think so too. And lastly, please, I have to ask you about your outfit. Tell me who you are. Okay, um, so Stan and Theodore have dressed me today. I've got a beautiful Jill and Jack. Um, piece of memory on, cat and jewels, and subtle Ferragamo heels. But ultimately, I didn't realise this, but I feel as though I've channeled Barbie, um, which works for me because I had the pleasure and the privilege of working with um, the beautiful horse that's running in today's race, Miracle of Life, who's nicknamed Barbie. So I feel as though I feel as though I'm representing her because I'm going to put some money. I'm I'm not much of a gambler, but I think I'm going to throw a few dollars down. I think I need some tips from you. Yeah, I don't know absolutely. Okay, we look fantastic, and we all look forward to seeing you around the racetrack. Thank you.